Right, so I'm just about to remove the start motor from this 302. It's a 2.2 TD4. Um, start motor, see it's here. So what's happening is when I start, try and start the vehicle, it's clicking, so I've been told that's a solenoid. Um, I've ordered one of the repair kits um, off eBay, and I'll put a picture of that up afterwards. But um, all I've done so far, um, I'm using a small toolkit um, and a 10 mil because it's easier. Taking the airbox off on the grass over there. Taking the engine cover off just so I've got better visibility. I'm going to attempt to do it without removing the coolant hose. All I've done is I've just unclipped it from there, just sat it there just so I could see what I was doing there. Uh, the next thing I need to do, which you can't really see very well here, so through that little hole there. See these two in the band. So you've got that little bolt there, and you've got take the black cap off. You've got another bolt there. Um, the black cap, I'm guessing, is just because it's alive. That's the live from the battery, which I've disconnected. Turn back out again. Um, so I need to undo both of those, and then I've got three bolts to undo. Um, got one you can see there, nice and easy, which. Again, you can see there, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. The one to the back, again, you can kind of see it through the gap there, but you're behind all the wires. But I reckon a flathead on there or a ratchet on there, poking out through here, is poking out through here, is achievable. And then the third one, not as straightforward, and kind of gets with easier going down this gap I found. There's a, another bolt that I've got my fingers on there. I can't actually show you because the camera don't fit down there, but there's another bolt of the same size. You can kind of see it, yeah. See it at the end of my finger there. Um, so yeah, so I need to take all of them off. And then once I've got those off, hopefully, you can see the top of the picture there, top right and so, top left hand side, you can see the black cap and the, that's the next thing I need to do. I need to take this off and then do both of those um, to disconnect the actual wires but apparently that one's a little bit delicate, so I've got to be careful with that one. But yeah, then I can take that off, then I can do the side mode, then I can put it back together, and then hopefully the car will start and not click. But um, yeah, I'll check in there. So that's the first nut loose. You can see the amount of play I've got there. I've actually got the 13 mil as well, so you know what size you're after. So it's 13 mil. Right, I'm using. But yeah, that's the first one loose. Just on to the next two now. Very quick update. I'm still undoing that one. Bolt oh, there, if I zoom in, get in focus. There you go. So I'm still undoing this one at the minute, which is um, fine. But now it's actually sitting right on. Oh, dropped the spanner. Um, sitting right on top of the wiring loop. So what I'm going to attempt, I'm going to see if it works, is there's a there's another little bolt there, a little bit further down, that appears to be holding like a retaining clip onto this. So I reckon if I undo that retaining clip there, that's going to free up this, not this one, this wire in the loop, which is going to allow me easier access to the bolts. I'll let you know how I get on. Okay, so that little plan worked. So I've undone that retaining clip there that you can see now. You can see this wire in the loop is actually much more free to move. So that's going to give me a lot more access now to get to that bolt and underneath. I can feel the bottom bolt nice and easy as well, it's down there, right there. And then the only one that's going to be fun I reckon is the back one there, but I think that should be, it's like a little window and there's a bit of a gap behind it as well. So so yeah, so now I've undone that retaining one, I can move that one room out of the way. I don't want to move it all around too much because you know they don't like to be moved too much. But still, that should give me enough clear way. To, to drop that stop my around so you can see the bolts coming out now. Okay, so another quick update. It's only been a minute or two, but I've now loosened off the bottom nut bolt, I should say. So you see I'm doing that one there now, which is good. And I've also made a start on the other top bolt at the back there. So as soon as I move that retaining clip and could push this wire loom back just a touch, Gave me access to the other three, the other two bolts pretty easily. 
and um, just in case I forget to edit it in later. When I was doing all the top it, I was using my little Vera Tool check bus. Awesome little kit. But um, the clip on the back allows you to clip it onto the plastic trim of here. So it's nice to put a little bit nicer. There you go. All right, another quick update. So I've undone all the bolts now. Stop motor is loose and it's coming out. It's not the lightest of things, but you can see I'm negotiating it around the pipes. Let's <coughs> just catch it. Yeah. Talk about wrestling it. Oh, that's why. There you go. If it's not coming out easy, it's because one of your wires has fell back onto the terminal. There you go. That's the start motor out. Now, take my water off because you don't tend to wear much when you're doing this type of stuff, but it ain't taking me that long. A bit grosser. So now I can. Let's see that now, where it's come from. That's what's causing me the issue then. This had fell back onto the little catch. So that's all it is. Uh, that bolt's still in there, ready to do back up. Uh, the other bolt at the back is also still sitting there. The back there behind that one there, there's another bolt. You can't see. Great, great film in it. Um, but yeah, there you go. And the, the bottom bolt I actually just took out because it was nice. So that's where I'm at now. So now I'm going to get onto the the actual repair of the starter motor, which according to the instructions that come with the kit, I undo one, two, three bolts there, and I get into the solenoid, and then I swap a few little bits over, put it all back together, put it back in the car, and hopefully, I'll be done. I'll keep you posted. Okay, so this is the next part of the task now. So this is the repair kit. That's the actual solenoid, there are the connectors, a few little things you get the instructions from Repair Kit UK as well. Grab this off eBay. And as you can see, you've got instructions there how to remove those bolts, check the pieces, reassemble it. And that's on that part there. So I'm going to attempt to do this now. And I'll keep you posted. Okay, so that's the, the cap off where the solenoid sits. I'll probably give that a quick clean before he goes on. Looks like it's got a little bit of white something. Looking, looking at it, not showing the camera. It's not that good, right? Uh, there's three bolts I used to take it off. It was um, eight mil socket that I used. That's coming to here. And now what I'm guessing we're gonna see is worn cups around the solenoid. So the, I know it's the instruction to say, make sure you keep all the spin because that's got to go back on there. So that's the, the worn socket. Yeah, you can see that it's not as nice as that one. Um, and then if you actually look inside the housing key, you can see how there's uneven wear on the connectors there. And apparently that's what causes the clicking sound and the starter motor not to work. So I'm gonna reassemble it with these new parts and hopefully that'll do the trick. If not, we will look at what happens next. So now I've got taken the first terminal part out. You can see new v old. You can see the old one's heavily worn, so actually got that complete cut out there, which is kind of causing it not to connect as often. So the difference there is quite noticeable. Um, <laughs> a little trick old as well. That's the order I took the bolts off and the washers. And that's going to sit there, and then that, that thing there sits between that and that. So I'm going to reassemble this side and repeat on the other side. That's per instructions. So I've done the first side, which is all looking hunky dory. Just onto the second side now, so you can see I've already taken it out. The order it came out was on the outside, it was this that sat inside, that just kind of sat in the middle underneath, and then that's on the very top. It's a little bit stiff, that one was. It's actually a rubber band on there as well, like a seal, so I'll leave that on there. Um, the one thing I did notice when I took it out, um, this was actually stuck in here quite well so I had to give it a bit of a knock to get it out but also if you compare the two that I've taken out can you see the 
the difference in the wear on those. It's got all the wear going on, the little one, not the big one. I'm still going to replace them back because I've got a brand new one out. But, yeah. Anyway, I'll put it back together. So just before I put the cover back on. So I've done... Oh, it's, it's just coming out of the spring there now. Just put the spring back down. And I'll make sure the spring's on good before I do that. So yeah, so make sure you put the spring back on the sonoid. Sonoid's there. New connectors in there. They've all been tightened up. The wire on this one has to go in between the bolt and the plate, which is what it's doing. Is that it's that kind of line that you can see. Um, dropping that in there now. You can, you can kind of hear that click when it's starting. It's just going down, touching that, creating the circuit. Um, yeah, that's all done up. All I've got to do is get the covers back on now. Well, that's focus. Uh, get these covers back on now. And then um, you get this thing back into the the engine bay. So, go back into position now. Just put the one bolt on to hold it while I do the other little bits up. You can see I've got to connect those two. I've got to do these. Then I've got to reattach the thing for the watch me flunk. That wiring loom down there where my finger is now. And my hands are starting to blend in with the car now. Um, but yeah. And my phone is also getting incredibly oily. It's all good though. It's all cleanable. Cool. Quick update. So I'm just putting these all back together now. This, um, the very top bolt was causing me a bit of grief. So I've just put an extension on my, um, my little Vera, little micro cyclops thing. And that's working a treat now. So that's actually tightening that up for me. Um, you, you can't, but I can. Uh, you can see it's getting closer. So I just need to work my way around those bolts now and tighten them up. Um, and then yeah, let me get destroyed. There you go, see, so that one's tight now. Um, I use the big handle to give it a proper tighten, but that's the micro cyclops on the extension bar to get through that gap there. So yeah, work my way around the rest of them. Another little thing, um, using the ratchets to obviously do the, the bolt up now. Um, that told me this, but see the head's angled, so that one in there. Uh, pointing a bit further out. That's where the ratchet's going. So that means the ratchet on this one is turning forward. So, so if I were to go the other way, turn it over, then the ratchet goes that way. So you know which way to put it on. That's a moment of truth now. I'll put it all back together again. Start motor's in there, it's got its new solenoid in. Reassembled the airbox. There's a tricky little bolt under there. So if you're struggling to get your airbox off, you can see at the back, it's kind of like down the back underneath all this stuff. 10 mil under there. Yeah, it's out of focus, but you can see it down there. Uh, that attaches the the air pipes to the engine cover. So if you're under the engine cover, you might be able to take it all off as one, but I just undid that with a 10 mil. Undo that, squeeze that, unclip that. That's all I did to get the air box off. One, two, little bolts to undo there. Um, down here. I've reassembled, I've reattached the wiring loom, put that back in its place. The two little bolts are on top of the starter motor down there, you can kind of see it. And the other one's got a little black cap on one house in. I've done those back up against so that's all done. Then the three bolts itself onto the actual starter motor, onto the, the engine. That's the main thing. So all I've got to do now is start the thing, and fingers crossed it starts. So, um, Moment of truth. Foot on the brake. Our first time. It's got to reset everything now. The battery's been off for the last hour or so. But yeah, there you go. All appears to be working. Play disc golf. Um, so yeah, I'd say that was successful. No clicking, no nothing. It's better than the click, click, click I was getting before. Yeah, take that. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> 